guys, welcome to Minimal Reviews and today I'm reviewing Super G by Har uh, Harajuku, which is part of the Harajuku Lovers by Gwen Stefani. Uh, so this is the bottle and obviously it's a superhero. Um, I kind of like this, how it's done like that, kind of like it's stuck... Uh, kind of like it's posed on a podium kind of like. So I got 30ml of this and it's an Eau de Toilette. Now Harajuku Lovers has now been discontinued but they're still really easy to find if you go on the internet and things and sometimes there's stores that, are, that sell discontinued perfumes and that's what the, you know, that's what they sell. Um, if you just look at the design of it, it's really pop art. If you look like with all the stripes and the dots and everything that's really like pop art themed. So the whole design of pop art really ties in with the box and so on the back it's got like this whole cartoon um, like action pose going on and everything at the back and that's cool in it, it's just stood like in you know, an action pose and then the front is this whole design like they have on all the others where it's got the different language and it's really bright and really stand out on the shelf if you just look at it, it's like BAM! Oh, it says BAM! So when I first spray this fragrance, right, straight away it smells like sun cream, like straight away. Which is good for me because I love the smell of sun cream. But I can, it's so nice, I really like it. But um, it was released in 2011 with a few other limited editions, as you can see limited edition. Um, so it was released with Jingle G and G of the Sea as well as Super G. So it was first released in 2011 and it was said to be a fruity floral scent but it's really not. It's a fruity scent. It's not a floral. I, nah, I would not say it's floral. So the top notes are tangerine, pear, cranberry and pineapple and throughout the whole of the notes there's eight fruits and well if you count mm, there's like two um, florals in there because some people don't count one of them as a floral but I guess just for this purpose there's two florals against eight fruits so you know it's a lot more fruity than it is floral. So with the top notes, uh, tangerine and pineapple definitely stand out for me. I can smell tangerine and pineapple like straight away. Um, they really stand out and it creates this whole like citrusy tropical opening for the fragrance. Now the middle notes are peach, coconut, freesia and banana. So it's just like a juicy middle mix of fruits that are really nice and a lot of people say they can smell banana. I never really could until like someone said banana. It's like oh yeah you can smell that you know. It's kind of one of them fragrances where you can't, to me you can't smell it until you know it's there if you know what I mean. But um, definitely in the middle of notes for me, coconut stands out quite a lot in this. So the base notes are Virginia cedar, vanilla, raspberry and musk. So don't let them fool you because the Virginia cedar is not a woodsy note. It's not at all like that. It's a really um, sweet ending. It's not woodsy at all. Uh, and and even with the musk, you can't really smell musk in it a lot. It's more of the vanilla and raspberry that stand out more in this. It really gives it that fruity, sweet smell. So to round up, it's just a really, really fruity, sweet scent. It's just such a great scent to have during the summer. So here is my board of many fragrances. And Super G is right here. So I gave eight for the box because it's a pretty cool box, you know, you've got to admit it's quite cool. Then 8.5 for the scent because I love the scent, I think it's such a great scent. And then 8.5 for the bottle. I think that just really ties it in as well. I like the bottle more than I like the box just because I love the whole design of it and I think, you know, there's so many different colours and so many different patterns on it, I think it really makes it stand out, it looks really so on the official website it actually says her superpowers crimes against fashion. You know, so it just gives it that really ironic and I think they've really thought it through on this. I think it's a really great fragrance. So with this scent, um, I've been wearing it quite a lot and literally I've worn it while I'm at school and spray it on in the morning. I haven't had to spray it on again. You know, I have done but I don't I didn't need to, you know, sometimes I just kinda like having a bit a bit more to it, you know, 
but it really does last quite a long time. It lasts like until, I don't know, because I can smell it the next day, you know, like on my clothes that I wore the day before. So it just lasts for ages. It's a really good scent to have. So I think you guys should definitely get it for the summer term. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Mini Mo Reviews and the Mini Molly. So thanks. See ya.